so today's video is a long-awaited workwear haul. This is a Yes Style haul. If you don't already know, Yes Style gives me a $500 budget to spend on their website every month, and I've been trying to use that for different themes. So I've done Yes Style prom dress videos, I have a Yes Style wedding dress video coming up, and obviously today is a Yes Style workwear haul. I tried to have a little bit of fun with this video. I picked out some things that I think are pretty safe options for a corporate job. And then I also tried to pick out some things that I thought could possibly work well, depending on your workplace environment. Some of these things are really great and some of them are a little bit of a disaster, but we'll get there soon. Depending on the company that you work for, they may or may not be strict with their dress code. A lot of the time with a corporate job, it's a typically button-up shirt for men with suit pants or maybe even classy looking jeans or chinos, depending on the company. And with women, I tend to see at work women wearing blazers with like a camisole top underneath or a button-up shirt and then they wear a pencil skirt or they wear pants. Obviously, it really depends on the company that you work for, so I'd be interested to know once you guys watch my outfit selections, let me know what you think. If you think that you could wear them to your corporate job, if you've got a desk job, if if you've got a job at a large company, if you've got a job in real estate, or if you've got a job in sales or as a receptionist or something like that, let me know what you think if you could possibly wear any of these outfits to your job. And if you have any other themes that you want me to explore using my monthly Yes Style budget, please drop them in the comments below. I have some Yes Style swimsuits coming up and I'm thinking of doing Yes Style accessories. But anyway, let me know down below if there's anything you want to see. And with that, Let's jump into the first outfit before Archie loses his mind. He seems to really like me in this shirt. Can you just relax? Do you need a cold shower? So the first outfit that I tried out was this two-piece set, which is a tangerine colored blazer and skirt. And I also paired it with this really nice white button-up top that I have on underneath. Now, I don't know necessarily with this if I'm the biggest fan because I kind of feel like I'm either a real estate agent or perhaps I'm a flight attendant, but depending on the situation that you work in, this could be a really appropriate piece of workwear. I really like the details on the blazer. I love that there's this O-ring and you can do it up with this interesting sort of T-shaped chain. I think the skirt is a nice height. I think in some situations you may need a skirt that goes down to your knees depending on the company you work for, but I think I could definitely get away with this at work. The biggest problem with it being that the skirt is really, really tight. So much so that it makes it almost impossible to bend over. So don't go dropping any files on the ground in the middle of your work day because you may struggle to pick them up again. I personally love the length of these sleeves. I really like that they're cropped off just at the elbow. I think a lot of the time with work, it, at least in my experience, it can be winter and it can be freezing cold while you're on your commute. But once you get to the office, it's normally nice and toasty inside. So I like this because you can take off the blazer, wear the button up shirt underneath, and it still looks really stylish. I think for a general office environment, an outfit like this is pretty standard. Pairs nicely with nude high heels. And for about $40, this seems like it's pretty well made. Some of the outfits I have coming up feel really cheap and nasty even though they look quite nice, but I can say that this one, this one feels like it's worth the money that it costs on the website. This white blazer that I'm wearing underneath this, yes, yes, that one, that you may not steal the buttons from, you may not, this is a $16 blazer, and I think that a white blazer or multiple white blazers are an absolute essential for the workplace. I picked up four long skirts to pair with this white blouse because white blouses are so versatile. I really like this one in particular because the fabric is lovely. It's very soft and it feels very well made. It's a, a sort of thick fabric. You can't see straight through it. I have got some really sheer, sheer white blouses. But this one, this is lovely. I like the way that it looks with the sleeves rolled up. Personally, I always wear my white button-up shirts with the sleeves rolled up. I can't really stand the look of white shirts with long sleeves. Overall, this is a beautiful shirt and I think that it's very flattering the way that it sits. I really like the collar. So next up is this blue pleated skirt. I adore this skirt because it has a little tiny bit of reflective shimmer in the second layer. There are three layers to this skirt. I think that it drapes really, really nicely and it sits at a nice length on my legs. Now, obviously you can style this 
differently depending on your situation. Skirts like this that drop just to the knee or below the knee look so feminine with a pair of pumps. I love that they cinch in at the waist. I think it's really flattering to have a tightly cinched waist and then a really beautiful long flowing skirt. I feel like you can't really get away with wearing maxi, maxi skirts to a corporate environment, but this kind of midi length is a little bit more appropriate if you can't wear a shorter pencil skirt, for example. This skirt is $20 and I think it's worth every cent. The pleats are beautiful. I love that there's multiple layers to this skirt. It's got three layers, so there's no chance of it being sheer, which is pretty important in your workplace environment. You don't really wanna be seeing your undies or anything through your clothes. This pale blue, it fits with my pastel aesthetic, but it's not offensive. You know, you, you don't necessarily want to go to a corporate environment wearing electric colors or neon colors, but pastel colors are really easy to get away with. This next skirt was a little bit of a disappointment for me, only because of the color. Excuse me! No, I'm not interested. So this skirt came in a variety of colors and I picked this one because it was the purple option and I wanted a pink skirt, a blue skirt, green skirt, purple skirt, but this is kind of, to me, I would say this is almost like a dusty pink. In the pictures, it looked a tiny little bit more lavender or like a violet kind of color, but yeah, this is a little bit too sort of on the pinky end for me, but I do still really like it. It feels really, really soft. This one is only two layers, unlike that previous skirt, this one is a two-layered skirt. Because the ow, 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 ow. the underlayer is quite short in this one, it's just a single white layer underneath that only sort of comes to the knees, it doesn't go all the way down. But for a $20 skirt, the fabric is really beautiful, it's very, very soft, and I think that it's very flattering to wear. I was a little bit worried that it could be too reflective, but the satiny material, it sort of picks up the light a little bit, but I still think that it's neutral enough to get away with in a workplace environment. This one is a little bit shorter than the blue one, but again, skirts like this are so easy to style. I think they're absolutely beautiful and I love the pleats. Pleated skirts are so stunning. And obviously you can pick these up in black as well if you wanted to get a black pleated skirt to wear with a white button up shirt. If your dress code at work is just black and white, that's a really easy, classy outfit to wear to work. And um, Archie, if you're acting like this now, what are you going to do when I bring out the green skirt? Okay, so this green one was a little bit of a disappointment for me. I'll put up the expectation photo so you can see. The expectation of this one was such a beautiful light green colour. It was really, really pretty. And it's turned out, it's kind of... it's a fair bit darker. This skirt has a little tiny bit of velvet running along the bottom of it, which is a nice little extra detail. Uh. This one is only two layers. It has an inner layer that's a really thick, heavy velvet, and then the outer layer is this kind of fishnet chiffon kind of material, I guess you could call it. This one has... Oh, look at this. What? This one has really nice bounce to it as you walk, mainly because the really heavy velvety material, the velvet is kind of stretchy, so it creates a little bit of bounce as you walk. Obviously, we love the color green around here, and I think that green is a really good color for work. I have a lot of green sort of blazer and skirt suits that I wear. Green is definitely neutral in terms of if you don't want to wear black or brown or like navy to work, I feel like green is your next best option. I think light blue and pink and purple, that's a little bit more out there, but green is still remaining kind of neutral. Again, I've just paired this one with the white button-up shirt from earlier, and I think it's a really nice outfit. I only have one more skirt to show you before we move on to some pant suits, and I'm not going to pair this next one with the white blouse because I feel like I've showed you that too many times, I think you get the point. Long midi skirt, white blouse, nice combination. <laughs> we like it, yes, yeah, okay, yep, that's fine. I've done my hair for this video in this nice little bun, but I'm kind of worried that pulling this over my head is going to mess it up, so please forgive me. Are you right? Do you wanna put this on, Archie? Okay, so I paired this pink sweater with this pink skirt because that's how they paired it on the website. And I thought that you could get away with that in some work situations, wearing a nice big chunky sweater with a midi skirt. I know I could get away with that. I don't know about you. Leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. But I adore this sweater. This is probably, I have to say, one of the nicest, coziest pink sweaters I own now. 
I really want to do a Yes style winter haul where I pick out all my favourite sweaters and jackets and coats and various things that I've received from Yes style and show you guys because obviously if you're in a country where it's winter right now you, you might benefit from that. It's stinking hot here in Australia so I can't actually wear them at the moment but you guys might benefit and if you're looking for a nice pullover even if it's just if it's not for work or anything if it's just for you this is amazing this is incredibly soft I can't rave about it enough. Tiasha was here when I pulled this out of the box and she was like, I'm dying. I am in love with that sweater. So it's not just me. It's not, it's, and it's not just Archie, because I think Archie might like it too. But I paired it with this skirt. Now this skirt, based on the pictures, I thought it was going to be, I don't know, a little bit more full or a little bit longer or something. It's just, it's a tiny little bit shorter than I expected. It's this very thick suede material. This is only one layer, I think. Yes, so this is only one layer to this skirt, but the suede material is very, very thick. It's very soft, very cozy. The pleats aren't quite as noticeable on this skirt as they are on the others. And also this one runs a little bit small. I find that the waistband on this is nowhere near as elastic as it is on those other skirts that I showed you. But I think this kind of dusty, I guess you would say, is it millennial pink perhaps? This, this light kind of dusty pink is more work appropriate than a baby pink, for example, or a hot pink. I think out of all the skirts, this is the one I recommend the least. This is a $30 skirt, and feeling it, it's nice, but there's so many other things on Yes Style that are absolutely amazing, so beautiful, that are cheaper than that. So I wouldn't recommend you go out of your way to get this one, unless you've been looking for a pleated pink midi suede skirt for a long time and you haven't been able to find one, and you don't think $30 is too bad, then sure, go for it. But I think that the other ones that I showed you are so much more worth it. They just have so much more bounce to them, so much more shape. They look a lot nicer, those other ones. Not to say this isn't nice, but it's definitely not up there on my list of recommendations. But the sweater, the sweater is for sure. Okay, so I was getting a little bit experimental with this next one. I fell in love with the color of it. The first thing that I noticed was the color of the blazer and I thought I need that as a work staple, but I decided to pick up the rest of it because it is a three-piece set. You can either get it with matching pants or a matching skirt. Now, the issue here is the little spaghetti strap top that it comes with is very unusual. This is it here, and it has this very, very strange shape to it in the top area. I'm not such a fan of the way that that sits, and I don't know if this would necessarily be appropriate for a workplace environment, but obviously you don't need to pick this up. All of them come separately, so the blazer and the top and the pants or the skirt, you buy all of them individually. I think the blazer was at least $30 and the pants were $30. The top may have been about 15 or 20 or something. I would give the top a miss, but the blazer, I really, really adore this blazer, and the pants, I could definitely get away with these at my work. I don't know if coloured plaid is something you could get away with. Bless you. These pants, as pants in general, are really, really nice. They fit really well. They're very true to size as far as I can tell. I love the colours on them. I really like that it's a, a mix between purple, pink and blue. I like the waistband, that it's a solid lilac waistband and it has belt holes. I hate picking up trousers that don't have belt holes. It's a pet peeve of mine. But the thing that I like the most about this outfit, the blazer, now the blazer, when you look at it like this, it's just plain purple, but when you roll the sleeves up, there's this really nice buttercup yellow color on the inside. So I rolled the sleeves up and I really like that extra bit of pop that that brings to the outfit. Now, obviously, if you think that's a little bit too loud for some reason for your work, you can just leave the sleeves down as they are. This one had a couple of loose stitches here and there, unfortunately, but I think the look of it overall, it's so cool. When I saw it on the model, I thought, I wonder if that's meant to be a workwear look or if that's just some sort of like business chic style from Korea, perhaps. I don't know. I would happily wear this to work. I think this is lovely. This blazer for sure. The good thing about this is you can mix and match. I feel like you could obviously pair this blazer just with some very neutral pants, like white trousers, for example, and you can leave it open and have a button up shirt on underneath or a camisole top underneath. I think that beautiful blazers are an essential for a corporate environment. You really do need at least one or 10 if you're me. I really like that this blazer has 
big pockets on the front. I think they're so nice and they're a very good size too. You could, I could fit my phone in there. Sometimes, you know, if you go out on your lunch break and you just want to take your phone and some money or something and you don't want to grab your bag, it's good to have these big pockets because you can chuck your keys or you can chuck your wallet and your phone in there. So I think that this blazer is very practical. The only thing about it for me, which you probably have noticed, it is quite creased. I recently bought a steamer, but as soon as I got it, my mum borrowed it off me and I haven't seen it since. So as soon as I get my steamer back, I can start going through and steaming. Hi steaming some of these things because obviously it doesn't look so great creased. You do need to sort that out before you head into work. I've pulled these out of the parcels and tried them on without steaming them. So please forgive me. I hope you can tell what it's supposed to look like without all the creases all over it. But yeah, this, I think the pants are super cool. If you want to just pick them up just as pants for yourself, not necessarily to wear to work, I highly recommend them. So this one is a huge thumbs up for me. So this next style is an absolute workwear essential for me. I cannot praise this style enough. This is my favorite type of dress to wear to work. This is a long, like a midi length, tight dress. It's a ribbed knit and it's got long sleeves. I love these when they have turtlenecks. Unfortunately, this one doesn't. My all time absolute most worn piece of workwear is this here, this dress with that coat. I bought that two years ago, three years ago. I wear it so much. It's just, there's something about neutral colors with stripes and this nice tight, tight dress, but it's still modest because it's a long length and the sleeves are long. And with a coat sort of draped over your shoulders, it's just, I cannot, I cannot praise this look highly enough. So when I saw this on the website, it's about $23, $25 or so, I knew I had to get it. This dress is incredible, absolutely incredible. Now I went back on YesStyle, you know, just to make sure that all this stuff was still in stock before I talked about it. That is one of the issues with YesStyle. I'll place my order and sometimes it takes a month for things to come and by the time they arrive, they're sold out. Please forgive me, it's out of my control. But this one, when I last looked on the website, it was sold out, but I'll leave the listing anyway in case it comes back in stock because this is incredible. I think out of everything that I've showed you, this is the best quality. It's made the best. It feels really comfortable. I think it's a beautiful length. I think that around my waist, unfortunately for me, it's a tiny little bit loose. Um, I The one that I wear all the time is very, very form fitted for me. There is this other one, I hope I can find the picture. This is a dress that I really, ugh, I found it in a store called Harold's. If you're in Sydney, you'll know Harold's. It's kind of like Harrods. You know, it's a super luxury high-end kind of department store. And I think that that was Kenzo from memory, that dress. I've never loved a dress more, but it was $1,500. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, no. But anyway, I was very happy to see this because despite not being the same, it's a similar vibe, you know, with the stripes and the length and paired with some black boots and black stockings underneath. This is so classy. Now I actually paired this with a Louis Vuitton handbag that I have. I've mentioned this very briefly. I've touched on this in the past that when I buy luxury items, I always buy them secondhand and I buy them when I go to Japan because Japan has a huge, huge market for secondhand luxury goods, mostly because Japanese people they're really obsessed with perfection. And if they have a Louis Vuitton handbag and then it gets a little bit of a scuff on it, something that would just be like everyday wear and tear for someone in Australia, for example, if it gets the tiniest little scuff on it, it's just not worth anything anymore. This is an Alma, this one. You can pick up a genuine Alma Louis Vuitton bag for like $200 in Japan. And this originally was so heavily reduced. I think this one was 200 or $300. And it was so heavily reduced because the straps they used to be brown and they were discolored from someone using it so often. Uh, something about the leather, when you touch it all the time, the leather browns, I can show you. This is another one that I have. So this is different to the one that I paired with this, but we dyed this leather. This is a picture of what it's meant to look like. And when people use them all the time and they wear it every day and they touch this strap, the oils from their skin will transfer onto the leather and then the leather will discolor. And in Japan, that is, a big no-no, so they'll sell them really cheap. So uh, no, we don't bite the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so anyway, what you can do, you can pick up Louis Vuitton very cheap if it's got like some discolored leather on it or something. And then what we did, we painted it. We used a leather fabric type of paint and we painted the handles and the base pink. And luckily for me, it paired really nicely with this outfit because the pink in here and the green matched really, really nicely with the brown monogram of the Louis Vuitton leather and then the pink with the handles and the base 
it was almost like it was made to be worn with this. So I was really, really happy about that. But yeah, I, I was thinking of making a video about luxury goods, you know, buying luxury goods secondhand, but also I don't really like to talk about luxury things on my channel because it's not attainable for everyone buying new luxury or even secondhand luxury. And also some brands like Louis Vuitton, you know, these big luxury brands that they will literally burn their stock instead of reducing it and putting it on sale. I think ethically, they're very questionable. So I don't know if I necessarily want to talk about luxury items like that. If there is a demand for the video and people really want to know, then I'll think about making that sort of video. But hey, hopefully my tips for you just then about finding the secondhand luxury in Japan, hopefully that's helpful for you. But I digress. Anyway, this dress for $24, I can't rave about it highly enough. I hope that you guys like this outfit. I love it. This is a real staple for me, especially in winter. And with that, let's have a look at some of these two-piece suits that I've got. Okay, so I want to say that this one is a huge win in my books because I do really love the look of it. It's very Chanel. Obviously, it's not Chanel. <laughs> um, but I think that this is inspired by Chanel. And I think that this sort of outfit can be really nice for work, but it can also look like, you know, you're a, a rich housewife. It can kind of look like you used your recently deceased husband's estate to purchase some new Chanel. But I think, depending on the context, you could get away with this. Archie's kind of going a little bit crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the texture, if he's so fascinated, or if it's just because it's green. But uh, anyway, this does have like a tweed kind of texture to it. My biggest issue with this is it's got these two buttons on the front but there's no button hole, so you can't actually do it up. So it's just supposed to drape open. So I've got a white camisole top on underneath this. Unfortunately, the pockets on the skirt aren't real, which really, really bothers me. Not that they'd be very practical pockets. They're so small, you couldn't really hold anything but a lipstick in them, so. But yeah, it kind of really, really bugs me that you can't button it up. So I'm gonna have to cut a, uh, a hole in it and then hopefully sew up around the edges of the hole so it doesn't fray because I want to be able to button this up. I think that the skirt, it's a little bit risky for work. It could be a tiny little bit too short. If this was uh, like a knee length pencil skirt, I think it would be a bomb outfit for work. No one can complain. I mean, like it's a, a really nice color, a cropped suit-ish type of two piece set. What is there to complain about if you're a, an angry boss? Angry bosses will always find something to complain about, but uh, I think it's a pretty safe outfit if it was a slightly longer skirt. Let me know if you think you could wear a skirt this short to work. But this, I feel like I'm gonna get huge amounts of wear out of this. I have one other set that I got from YesStyle ages ago that was a blue two-piece set, kind of similar to this. It wasn't this heavy, heavy tweed style, but these sort of blazers and stuff, they're, they're very, very professional. I think that it looks like you mean business. It can also look like you're maybe a Beverly Hills real estate agent, potentially. I like the, the shimmery, there's a tiny little bit of shimmer in this fabric. It's very, very subtle. Can't really see it that well, but it just brings a little bit of glitz and glam to this two-piece set, which I love. This one is $50. It's a lot, but also for something like this from Chanel, you'd probably be paying $5,000 or even more. So I think if you're looking for that look, but you don't want to go for Chanel, this seems like a really good alternative. I haven't really seen many suits like this, like a, a blazer with a skirt in this style on many other websites. If you've, seen, if you've seen them like this, leave them in the comments below. I'm really interested to see if I could pick things like this up from other brands for let's say less than $100. That's, that's the budget, maybe like less than $100 for a two piece. I would like to see if anyone can find anything like this. I think something like this in like a, a buttercup yellow would be really, really, really nice. I think pink would be a little bit too legally blonde almost. You kind of have to be careful with certain styles and what colors that you choose for those styles because they may have connotations in people's heads of that they've seen in pop culture or movies or things like that. But I think the green, this mint green is very, very safe. And obviously this is how we make happy birds. Yes, we, we like it, don't we? Okay, so I was definitely taking a risk with this next one. I didn't really think of getting this seriously as something for my own workplace because I think that the baby pink and the blue and everything, it's a little bit too cutesy. And even though it's a blazer, just because it's a blazer doesn't mean you can get away with it in a corporate environment. Looking at this one, you know, it's got this giant, giant patch thing here that says, Re refining content, caution in pocket. 
Uh, and then it has these giant orange buttons, as Archie would like to point out to you. Now, I thought that this could be a little bit of fun. Maybe you work for a pop culture magazine. Maybe you work at BuzzFeed or something, and you know, the dress code isn't super strict and you can wear whatever you want and you want to have a bit of fun with it, so I thought, yeah, I'll pick this up. I looked at the jacket, and I thought, yeah, the jacket and the matching pants looks like it's going to actually be kind of cool. But, uh, I didn't expect that the pants would be so short. They are non-existent. The pants are literally non-existent. I, uh, could never, ne never. I, I don't know about you, but I could never. I don't think I've ever seen someone at work wearing shorts. No. No, so this, this was kind of like a silly one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. I was trying to have a bit of fun and I was trying to think about people that don't work in super strict environments that want to wear something pastel that's kind of like businessy, hence the blazer. Now this was a two-piece set and I don't think that there was an option to get it without the shorts. I think that you had to get the shorts. But for $33 for the blazer, no, even that's not worth it because the blazer's really bad. It's not very good quality. Although, I mean, he's been going at those buttons for a minute and they haven't come off yet. Can, can you please? No, out of bounds. Sorry. Let me just protect the buttons. So, uh, this blazer, this isn't, this isn't good quality. The fabric feels awful. It's very stiff. It's not comfortable. And it's also really, really sheer. You wouldn't think that just by looking at me doing my strange ballerina pose while I protect my buttons from the savage bird. But uh, you, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that the fabric's so thin. But if I go like this, I'm, I'm actually looking straight through and I can see the camera through, through the sleeve. <laughs> So, not particularly impressive, I will say. I'm gonna say give this one a major skip, but I mean, if you like the colors or something, and you really, if you really, really like it, go for it, but I, yeah, no, I, I'm gonna say no. One, I don't think it's professional. Two, it's not made that well, and it feels kind of cheap. And three, you're not gonna get much use out of those shorts in a work environment, and if you're just trying to get the blazer just for work, I think for $33 you can get better blazers. So let's leave that one. <laughs> okay, so this next one. I don't know how to feel about this. This two-piece suit is $60. 60 US dollars is like 80 Australian dollars. And I mean, it, it depends on your way of thinking. Some people might say, look, $80 for a two-piece suit, that's incredible. I don't think that the quality is that great. It's unusual, it has these really strange pants. The pants button up in this unusual way at the front. And then also on the legs, they have this, this kind of cool actually. You can pinch them in if you want to, or you can have them more loose if you want to. It does look really, really cool on the model. That's what swayed me to get it. But I'm just, I think that that's a little bit expensive for what it is. The blazer feels quite nice. It feels like it's got a double layer in it. It's got this nice sort of smooth, silky fabric on the inside. And then the outside, the outside's soft. I could be being a little bit too critical. I don't know, I, I just, I wasn't blown away. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, I don't think it's great. Maybe if the blazer was more fitted, I might be more interested. I think the sleeves, they're a little bit awkward because they're a little bit short for the length of my arms. So I can roll them up, but yeah. There's just something about this that isn't quite right to me. I'm not a huge fan. Maybe you might like it. I know this kind of style is quite popular I think in Korea, I think p even just in a social context, people, ah! young girls will wear outfits like this. It's like this sort of androgynous look in a way. So maybe it's just a cultural thing. Maybe I don't like it because it's a bit baggy and oversized and it's not particularly form fitting. I think it's a little bit expensive, but I'm really interested to hear your comments guys, because you guys always think quite differently to how I think. So I'd love to know your thoughts. So this next one, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about this because this was my least favorite. And when Tiasha saw it, this was her absolute favorite of all of them. So this is a two-piece set. This is $35. It came in orange and it came in this dark kind of pink color. It's got a very unusual jacket. The jacket hemline is asymmetric. So it's higher on the left than what it is on the right. This feels really cheap. The buttons are plastic. They look like they're metal, but they're plastic. It has an interesting belt. The belt has a pearl detail on one side and then just a silver ball detail on the other. Unfortunately, the belt, it's a very, very thick belt, but it just bunches up when you're wearing it and it doesn't stay thick. So I feel like it needs some support in it to hold its shape, because otherwise it just looks a little bit strange how it all bunches together. I do quite like the pants. They've got a flared base on them. I wish they were a little bit longer, but at least it does show off whatever shoes that you're wearing. This could be a little bit loud, depending. You, you could probably 
uh, attract a lot more attention than just a plain colored two-piece suit you know like a plain blue or even that green one I showed earlier it's more neutral this with the with the intense stripes and everything it is quite eye-catching it's $35 and it feels like it's worth $35 because it is quite cheap this one has a lot of these very unusual weirdly finished seams all over it, which is very disappointing. I guess you're the only one that really knows what it feels like. If you're at work, no one's gonna be coming up to you and, and touching your shoulder pads and seeing how it feels and telling you, this doesn't feel good enough for work. I think it's, you know, what it looks like if you're sitting at your desk and people are walking past you or whatever. I guess it looks okay, it doesn't look... Do you think it looks like it's not well made? M maybe you do. Maybe I'm just justifying this for no reason. Anyway, I don't know if I'll get a huge amount of wear out of this. I feel like it's a little bit too loud, but I think with the orange one from the expectation photo, that's even more loud than what this one is. If you weren't going to wear this to work, like if you just saw this on Yes Style and you're browsing through and you saw this, what sort of occasion do you think this would be for? If it wasn't for work, because I can't imagine like going out to the movies wearing this. I can imagine maybe putting it on to go to a meeting or something, but anyway, this is another one that I thought I just wanted to show you because I wanted to try and get as many two-piece like pantsuits as I could for this video. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. Okay, so visually, I want to say that this one is my favorite out of all of them. One, I love the color. I think the color is beautiful and I like the pinstripes. I think the pinstripes are very suitable for work. Now this is a three piece set and it's a 60, maybe 65 US dollar set. So this three piece set, it's a jacket and then underneath it's like a vest that's got sleeves built into it. And then obviously it's got the pants. Now the issue is that when I put the vest on for the try on part of this video, I, I put the blazer on over the top of the vest and somehow I lost a button. I didn't even do anything. It just, it just fell off. It's like I, I looked at it, I, I breathed in its general direction, and a button fell off. So I lost one button before I got to where we are right now. And then, as I changed into this from the outfit I was just wearing, I lost a second button. Or, uh, this isn't too tight for me, there's actually a lot of room here. It was just, touching the button just made it fall straight off. And that had nothing to do with Archie for once. Nothing to do with, you didn't, you're not responsible, are you? You didn't do that. What do we do with buttons? No, we sew them back on, but nice try. The blazer, I think it's beautiful. I really like the way that it fits. I think that it's tailored quite nicely. The vest gives me very corporate pirate vibes. I think it's actually a really nice style. If I found a three-piece suit like this in the range of like two to five hundred dollars and it looked like this, I would buy it as a long-term investment because when you invest in a good suit, you know, I've got a, a pant suit from a brand called By Johnny, which is like a designer Australian ah. brand. I think it cost $500, but I've been able to wear that for like five years. No issues, no buttons have fallen off. I've had it dry cleaned a couple of times. No problems whatsoever. This one, first time wearing it, lost one button. Second time wearing it, lost another button. At least the only thing you can really lose off this is buttons, and luckily you can sew buttons back on if you have the buttons. But if you're on a bus and you're commuting to work and you somehow lose your button in public transport, you either have to remove all the buttons and completely change them, like it's just a pain. And I'm not gonna say to people to get rid of clothes just because buttons are falling off, that's silly. That's not sustainable. You work with what you've got. So obviously I'm gonna sew the buttons back onto this, but it is just so annoying to see that happen. But regardless, I really, really like this style. I really like the pink vest. I do kind of wish that it was actually just a vest and it wasn't just sleeves hanging off because the sleeves don't feel very good. The sleeves feel a little bit cheap. That button up shirt that I was wearing earlier, a shirt like that would be very nice to wear under this. But then if you wear a button up shirt under, you're not going to get this nice V line here with the neckline. So anyway, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I really like the pants. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of those pants and the blazer. I really like to have to hello. fix up. Yes. Hello. Have to fix up this button situation, but for 60 something dollars for this set, it is a shame that that happened, but I think style-wise out of all of them, this is my personal favorite. I could be wrong compared to what some of you guys think. You guys, some of you might have liked that blue suit that I didn't like, but uh, 
Anyway, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, so please leave yours down below. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like. I'm an affiliate for YesStyle, so if you decide to buy anything, I'll make commission. I don't let that influence how I review these things in any way at all. As you can see, I'm very open and I tell you guys if I don't like something or if I do like something. So my favorites from this, I would have to say the stripy long dress. Absolutely adored that. And the white button-up shirt with any of those skirts. I really, really like all of those too. We have a Yes Style plus size standard size comparison video coming up and I'm so excited for it. But before I post that, I've got wedding dresses and various other things from Yes Style too. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up on this video if you liked the whole workwear thing. And if you wanna see me do workwear from any other companies, please let me know because I'm totally keen for that. I'm always down for some new workwear. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!